Hey guys, my name is Hannah Lilly and welcome to my speech. I chose the Emotional Intelligence Theory and the movie Shrek. Now I chose the Emotional Intelligence Theory because I find it really interesting that we have so many emotions that we can't really control, yet we know so much about them. I also chose the movie Shrek because there are two audiences and that is going to be for children and for adults. I find it really difficult to do this in movies sometimes, but they did it really well in this one. Only because for children, you know, it's a cartoon, there's a lot of action, there's a love story. And for the adults, it's edgy comedy, parody humor, and there's a great amount of emotional development from beginning to end. And it's a little bit easier for the adults to understand that rather than the children. Now, I think I'm able to do this theory because I've read plenty of articles on what it is, how it's used, and stuff like that. And so I think I have a good understanding of the theory overall. I've also been put in certain situations where I've needed to use my own emotional intelligence to get out of certain situations. Um, throughout this entire speech, I'm going to talk about what the emotional intelligence theory is, how it is used, and how well it is used in this specific movie. Now, the emotional intelligence theory was created by Peter Salovey in 1990. And what it is, it is the ability to notice emotions and use them to your advantage in situations. And what I mean by that is say you're in a conversation with somebody and you are able to understand and recognize that they are giving off emotions on their side of the conversation. You then are able to take that to know which emotions you are going to give off in response to theirs. It is also your ability to understand others' emotions as well as your own, and this is going to help with your growth in emotional intelligence. Now, I got all of that from historyofemotionalintelligence.com. There are five different parts to emotional intelligence, and that is going to be self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. I got that from emotionalintelligencelearning.com. Now, there are five different areas and so what that means is that it's going to be really complex hard to understand but since there are so many different areas that means that people can use emotional intelligence in their own way now there are two main characters in the movie shrek and that's going to be shrek and that's going to be fiona shrek he's a little bit different from fiona because he likes himself he's brave he doesn't back down from a fight and he has a great fear of rejection so it's hard for him to understand this, but he really longs for a connection. And since he's afraid of rejection, he kind of pushes that away as well as also wanting it. Now, whenever Fiona steps in, she's a little bit more romantic. She shows her feelings a lot easier than Shrek does. And once he kind of notices it, he tries to understand it a little bit. And with understanding hers, he's able to kind of recognize and understand his own. Now, at the beginning, they both think they're ugly, nobody could love them, and this emotion wasn't really identified for each other or for themselves, and that kind of resulted in a lot of impulsive actions that we kind of see at the beginning of the movie. Throughout the whole movie, though, they do use powerful emotions, and this is kind of where they draw in the adult audiences, because they're able to kind of understand and relate a little bit more than the children are able to. Now, throughout the entire movie, they do use masks to hide their emotions, and they're not really knowing that they're doing this until the emotional intelligence theory is put into play. Once the theory is being used, they are able to recognize their own feelings as well as recognizing each other's. After recognizing them, they are able to understand them and kind of know which ones they want to use, which ones they don't want to use, and this is really used to their advantage towards the middle or end of the movie. They then are able to communicate with each other a little bit better verbally and with their emotions. And this is going to build their emotional intelligence, which is going to, you know, help them beneficially throughout the entire movie. Um, and I got this from Seeking Emotional Depth into Shrek.com. Now, overall, we talked about what the emotional intelligence theory is how it is used, how the characters use it in this movie, and I think overall that it was used pretty well in this movie because, like I said, 
from beginning to end. They, they don't know what's going on. They're a little bit confused. They meet each other. They're able to notice that they have these emotions. They get a little bit freaked out by them, but then they fight a little bit to understand, to know what is going on. And then eventually they are able to use them to their own advantage for themselves and for each other. And it creates a really good story. And I think it is a really great example of what the emotional intelligence theory is. I think they did a really good job with that. And if anybody is wondering, um, emotional intelligence theory, um, there are a little bit more parts than what I have mentioned in here. Like I said, it is so complex and so hard to understand. And I would highly recommend going and seeking more information about it because it is a really cool theory to know and understand. Thank you all for coming and I really hope to see you all next time. Thank you.